Hello and welcome everybody. Welcome to my channel and to the beautiful south of France. Today I've got a flow for everybody. Anyone can take part and it's going to help just stretch you out, get into any aches and pains and leave you feeling really good in your body. You can actually do this flow any time of the day. Morning might be better and afternoons, perhaps not straight before bed because it's not going to be like a very relaxing yin yoga, but we're going to keep the energy levels down and keep it really peaceful and stretchy. So I hope you enjoy it. We're going to start off at the top of the mat, standing, feet together, close your eyes, hands down by the side. Just take a moment to tune into the breath and to the body. Take one hand to your belly, one hand to your heart. Relax your shoulders down. And wherever you are, take a moment to listen to the breath. And to become aware of the sounds around you. Keep your breath nice and deep through the nose throughout today's class, if possible. Open your eyes and we're going to step our feet hip distance, inhale the hands to the sky. Stretch up. Exhale, fold from the hips, bend the knees generously. Draw your belly button to the thighs and hang heavy. Hug your belly button back. With the knees still bent, take your hands to the ground and walk them over towards the left. Maybe take this left foot over towards the right and stretch through the side body. Allow your head to hang heavy, keeping the right foot planted on the ground. Step the left back in line with your hip and walk your hands to the right. Taking the right foot behind the left and out to the left side of the mat. Stretching through the left side body. Keep that left foot planted on the ground. Hang your, heavy, your head nice and heavy. Step the right back in line with your hip, bend your knees, hang heavy once again. Roll your spine all the way to mountain, hands come above your head to touch. And then send your body over to the left side body stretch. You can draw that left arm down your leg.
come back all the way up, arms stretch to the sky and take it over to the right. Right arm slides down your right leg. Send your hips to the left. Back to center, take a stretch. Exhale, fold. This time interlace your fingertips behind your spine. Bend your knees generously and allow your arms to fall over your head. If this is not accessible, just allow your hands to hang heavy or grab onto each elbow. Rest your neck. Let's roll the spine all the way back up to mountain. Inhale, raise the hands up. And draw them down to your side body. Take a grip of your left elbow with your right hand and drop your head to the right. Stretching through the left side of the neck. Allow your shoulders to become heavy. Roll your head over towards the left and allow it to hang heavy there. Roll your head back to centre and into neutral position. Release the left elbow and swap sides. Take a grip of the right. Drop your head to the left. Try to keep your whole body in one nice long line. Slowly start to roll your head to the right. Hold it there for a moment. And then bring your head back to center. Release your hands, give them a shake, maybe move the legs. We're going to lift up through the left leg, draw it to your elbow and hold it there. Drawing it to your left elbow, squeeze this right glute. And step all the way back for your high lunge, hands to the sky. Hips face forwards. Stretching through that psoas muscle here on the left. Breathe into it. Very, very slowly, we're going to drop the back knee down to the ground. Go as slowly as you possibly can until it touches the mat. Keep your hands where they are or at your heart center in prayer. Tuck your tailbone. Low lunge.
for an added stretch. Maybe lift those toes at the back of the ground and take a grip with this left hand. Pull it a little closer towards your bum. Getting a quad stretch. This may not be accessible, stay in that first position. If you're holding the foot, release and everybody turn your body to face the left. As you turn, take your left toes out behind you and start to straighten through this right leg. We're going to draw our right hand down the right leg, left arm up and over your ear, side body stretch. Bringing this left hand down towards the mat. Raise the right leg off the ground in line with your head and extend your right arm out to the side. From here, take the foot down to the ground, your right foot and come into a kneeling position. Tuck your toes. I'm going to turn to the side so you can see. And we're going to take our left hand to the left ankle or the left heel and raise our right arm to the sky for a half camel. Send your hips forwards and then slowly send your bum back taking the right hand to the right heel. Inhale the left to the sky, back bend, pressing the hips forward. Send your bum back. Plant your hands on the ground. And inhale, drop the belly, look up, cat cow. Exhale, arch, tuck your chin and your tailbone. Inhale, drop the belly, look up. Exhale, arch, tucking your chin and your tailbone. Taking one more. Tuck your toes and send your bum to the sky for your first down dog. We're going to repeat that sequence on the other side. Just walk your dog, stretching through your hamstrings. And we're going to rest here for three breaths. Look between the hands, you can walk, step or jump, back to the top of the mat. Exhale, fold, bend the knees generously. Inhale to half lift, hands to shins. And fold, exhale. Roll yourself up to mountain, hands come to the sky. Stretch, exhale down. We're going to raise up off of the right knee this time. Right knee to right elbow. 
hold it there, find some stability. And then we're going to very slowly step back into that high lunge. Hands come to the sky, find some comfort. Hips face forwards. Nice deep breaths. As slowly as you can, draw the back knee down to the ground for your low lunge. Take your time. When you get there, sink into the pose. For an added stretch, take that back foot off the ground and maybe pull the heel towards your bum. Or you can stay in that first position, yogi's choice. Release that foot and we're going to face the right side of the mat. Start to swivel on that knee so that your right toes go behind you. Extend and straighten through the left leg. And we're going to take the left arm down the left leg. Right arm up and over the head for a side body stretch. You can send the hips over towards the back of the mat to get a little deeper. Come on up and take this right hand down towards the mat in line with your shoulder, raising that left leg off the ground in line with your hip and extend the arm out long towards the back of the mat. Really try to pull your foot and your arm away from each other. Pull yourself back up, foot down to the ground. Come into a kneeling position, knees hip distance. You can stay with your heels raised. And we're gonna start with one arm. So bring your left over towards the heel and push your hips forwards. Inhale the right above your ear for your half camel. Send your hips back as you roll forwards, taking this right hand to the right heel and the left arm to the sky. Press your hips forward. From here, you can just rest, go into a child's pose or bring this left arm down to the left heel and rest your head back for a full camel pose. You can also untuck the toes to get a little deeper, depending on where you are in your practice.
come out the way you came in. We're going to raise the left arm to the sky. Turn your body towards the right. Start to send your hips down towards the ground. And we're all going to make our way into a wide-legged child's pose. Take your knees as wide as the mat and draw your forehead to the ground. Extend your arms. Taking some nice deep breaths. Staying in this moment. Hug your belly button gently back towards your spine. Slowly lift your head up and draw your knees in line with your hips. Tuck your toes and take a grip behind the heels. Draw the crown of your head to the ground close to your knees. Rest the top of the head very gently onto the mat. And pull your spine up towards the sky for rabbit pose. Counteracting those back bends. slowly release your bum towards your heels. You can keep your toes tucked for a little bit of a toe stretch. Maybe just release your pinky, spreading the toes nice and wide, sitting on the heels. Take a moment, close the eyes off. It might feel good to rock your hips side to side, getting into the toes, an area that's so often forgotten. Let's release the toes, so we're going to tuck them now. Place your hands alongside your legs and lift your knees off the ground, stretching the tops of the feet. Release. And repeat. Lift up. Release. Take a comfortable seat of your position and we're just going to, of your position, of your choice. We're going to close off the eyes, take the tops of the hands to the knees. You can lie in Shavasana if you choose. Allow your shoulders to become heavy. Taking a moment here to allow your practice to sink in. Coming back to a natural breath. Relaxing the face. Take a moment to become aware of the sensations of your body. Perhaps you can feel a tingling in your hands, moving all the way through your fingertips. Feeling that aliveness that's within you. 
taking a moment to feel complete gratitude for this life that we share together in this moment in time. And then take a moment to sense your surroundings, the quality of the air that you breathe, the sounds that surround you, and finding gratitude for being a part of all life and for this moment that we are sharing together. You can stay here and continue to meditate for as long as you wish, or you can finish your practice with me. With the eyes still closed, we're gonna inhale, raise the hands to the sky until they touch. Take a stretch and allow your face to follow. And then draw your hands down to your heart center in prayer. Take a moment, bow your head. I thank you all so much for joining me. Very slowly, you can open your eyes and lift your head. Namaste. Thank you for being here and for being part of the channel, part of this community, and for just finding this beautiful practice and making it part of your life. What a blessing. Until our next class, have a beautiful day, or as they say here in France, bonne journée. If anybody is French, feel free to tell me if I'm pronouncing this right. I hope I am. Until next time, namaste.